Welcome to Mora FC. It is water. This good card is beautiful stuff. It's very, very simple. Easy to do it. I'm going to give you all the tips, the tricks that you need in making this stuff. It's very, very simple. If you follow my steps, you're going to find it very easy to do it. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on the notification bell. I post videos every Sundays and sometimes on Monday. If I couldn't able to post it on Sunday, just look how beautiful it is. I'm gonna give it to you everything that you need in making this kind of stuff. It's very very simple if you follow the steps. And also, if you wanna learn how to fix invisible zip without a zipper foot, I'm gonna leave. Just look how beautiful it has been fixed. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. Please do well and check it out how to fix an invisible zip without a zipper foot. It's very very simple. So let's get started. This is the fab. This is the style I'm gonna use. Uh, the length is the width is 17 inches. You can make it 18, and the length is 22, or you can make it 23 inches. It's as simple as that. As you know, the front fabric. The front pattern has been cut already so we're going to make the design i'm going to mark three inches over here then i'll mark three inches over here as well then i'll start marking two inches two inches two inches two inches from the top to the bottom Then I'm gonna start from here two inches, two inches, two inches. From that side, and also at the length to the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna draw a straight line. We're gonna start from the three inches that we marked. Draw a straight line. Just like that we have already marked two inches two inches so we are just joining the points that we made start from here two inches two inches as well to the back You join it as well. Straight line like that. More IFC, it is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. I click on notification bell please for you to be notified the time I post a new video so the distance of the lines are two inches the distance of the line are two inches so we started with the angle so you're supposed to end at the angle side Please do well and subscribe, like and share, comment, ask questions, what you think, if there is something important you can ask a question. So we're going to join this part as well, we're going to start from this side, you can measure 2 inches or you can just join, keep on joining at that point. You're going to do the same thing to the end. Don't forget, I'm marking on the right side of the fabric. Don't forget, I'm 
marking on the right side of the fabric not the wrong side of the fabric the right side of the fabric so don't deepen it too much just a light one so we're gonna sew it That we made that's what we are showing on top of it don't just start sewing it the way you started drawing the line follow the same steps and sewing on top just leave like 0 0.3 and just sew on top of 0 0.2 and you'll be sewing just the way I'm doing. I don't try to be drawing the square leave it alone the square will draw itself so as the way that you started it drawing the first line the second line so when you're sewing you just have to follow the same line the same procedure when drawing it you finish with one line when you complete with everything then you you join with the other side as well As you can see please don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment ask a question So we're done with the first line you can see how beautiful it is so we're gonna do the second line as well the same procedure so when you do it like this you can see that there's a it's, it's gonna be like a stretchy fabric from this moment so you have to stretch your hand you know it's gonna be like a stretchy fabric and you know there's a joint and joint over joint so you have to stretch your hand when doing it otherwise you you won't get a straight line and you won't get it perfect so you stretch the fabric when doing it at this time and uh, you're gonna see that it's gonna be perfect because we saw it's gonna be like it says uh, elastic a stretchy fabric you're gonna turn into a stretchy fabric at this point so you just have to stretch it when you're sewing it put the force on it and you here ready to go I post videos every Sundays and sometimes on Mondays. If I couldn't able to post it on Sunday, then I'll post it on Monday. I post once in a week. So click on notification bell so anytime I post a new video, you will be updated. It's more IFC, it is what it is. So we done. Let's see the outcome. You can see the outcome has been formed beautifully. So simple and easy. We just have to go to the board and iron it. When ironing it,
the eye on the back, the front. the back of the the wrong side of the fabric the right side of the fabric you iron both of them so that everything lies perfectly and beautifully don't iron only the right side of it so you fold it at 10 into 2 you're gonna fold it into 2 you keep on ironing Then you're gonna put the front fabric. We have already cut the neck and the shoulder, so we just have to put on it like that. Then you cut. If you wanna learn how to cut the perfect neck for any incident time job, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. Make sure you check it out how to cut the perfect neck to one of the 18, 14, 15, 16, 20. No matter how the first have it neck, you can follow that procedure. You're gonna cut the perfect neck. So you measure how long you want your design to be. The longest it can be 15 or 14 or 13. So I'm just checking where I want my design to fall. So after I mind that I make my shape. For the shaping, you can decide how you want your shaping to be. You can decide how you want it to be. You want it to be square, it's up to you. You want to shape it like this style, it's up to you. You can design the bottom a little bit to your preference, or maybe you do what exactly what your client wants. You know, it's, sometimes it's better you do different style for yourself and see how it looks. Somebody wants it, then you do the same thing for that person. I'm just trimming to get a perfect curve and perfect shape. You measure from there to the top around it all. Whatever you get, uh, you're gonna go cut. You fold it like you are folding, you fold like triangle, like the way you want to pop a neck. Pop a neck, if you know how to pop a neck, yeah, you fold the same way. That's how you're supposed to fold it. You form a triangle, then you mark one inch. So when you open it, it's going to be two inches. I'll be feeling it. So you're going to be a triangle folding, which is just a straight line. You form a triangle like you want to form, you pop the neck. That's how you're supposed to do. So this is what I'm going to use to pop the neck itself. You know, it already it has already been formed a triangle, so I'll cut it to pop the neck. If you want to learn how to pop a neck, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box below. Please make sure you check it out on how to pop a neck perfectly. Well explained. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment if you have not subscribed yet. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on notification bell. So you're never going to miss any of my tutorial. I have several tutorials I'm going to leave in the link in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. So this is how we're going to pop the neck. Uh, I'm just going to give you a brief side of it. You make sure you check the other video. It's going to give you all the details that you need. I said this one is for the neck you just put it aside so you put your facing on it or stiff you just have to put facing or stiff on it you iron it nicely then you cut it you can see 
you fold it down we need the middle line is very important because we're gonna put it in the top in the front of the top so we just have to follow the middle line so that we put it exactly where it should be so this is it so we're gonna go to sewing machine you put it on it right side right side each other and you sew then we go around don't stretch it just leave the way it is don't stretch the the thread just so easily on it so you can see i've drawn it i've sewn on top like that so i'll use an iron to iron it this way don't make notches nowhere just leave it the way it is then you just have to iron it like that Take your time, don't rush. Take your time. Don't rush, take it easy. Just go with it step by step, little by little. You're gonna make everything great. Please, if you, if you have not subscribed yet, please do well and subscribe, like and share, and comment and click on the notification bell. Support more IFC, it is what it is, you know. Achit sa. I've seen everything I've lied perfectly and beautifully. Just have to go to the sewing part. Let's go all together and show you what you're supposed to how to sew it. You put it in front, make sure it falls exactly at the center. You know, the lines are falling each other. Perfect. Then you pin it. Do all and pin it to hold it down for you. To hold it down. So this is where we're gonna show. We're gonna show at the tip there, not on top of it. At that corner. That's what we're gonna show. So you're gonna start from that place. Then you show you go around it. You take your time when you're working with the circle, you know, don't rush it. Just take your time when you get to a circle point. Uh, it's better you take your time and get the perfect circle than to rush and get a mistake and you have to redo it again you know so it's the time so we done you can see how beautiful it is so you just have to pop your neck you join the shoulder first that's what you're supposed to do after finishing this then you join your shoulder so after join one side of the shoulder then you pop the neck then when you're done then you fix the zip if you want to fix a zip invisible zip without a zipper foot without a zipper foot because you, I don't want you to use that as an excuse you say that you don't have a zipper foot so I've made a tutorial to how to fix invisible zip without a zipper foot then you sew it very very nicely and beautiful so you pop your neck like you said you join one shoulder of it you join the right side of it and leave the left side of it then you pop the neck and you fix your visible zip we're done thank you so much for enjoying it thank you for liking and i appreciate it if you like it please give me a thumbs up respect god bless you all me out